my channel. So as you can probably guess from the title, this is a very exciting video. Um, I'm going to America. I'm going out to America to participate in Camp America this summer. I am so excited. Like, I just... I haven't been able to like openly talk about this for so long. I've known I was going since November um, and it is now the last week of April, well almost, um, and it's just wild to me that it's all happening so fast. Like I looked the other day and I have about 50 something days to go until I hop on the plane and don't go home for four months. Um, I've already gone through basically every stage of the application process now, so I'm going to take you guys through that today. Um, I'm just waiting for my flight information and then in about six-ish weeks, I'll be out of here, which is crazy. I'm kind of like low-key terrified. I'm like so excited, but I am like really nervous. I'm going to be at camp for like seven-ish weeks and then after that I have my time to travel and then it'll be my birthday before I know it and then I'll be home and yeah and I'll be getting the travel blues and I'll be like I wish I was still living life in the sun because when I come home it's going to be cold here. So far the process with Camp America has been so easy um, and really smooth and I like I was expecting there to be like a couple things that would be like hard work but even like the visa process was so easy um, and the communication with Camp America has been amazing um, but let's just deep dive into like the process so far obviously I can't speak for like actually at camp or traveling to and from camp because I haven't done that part yet but up until now where I'm literally just waiting for flight information um I can take you guys through that so for me I I actually didn't think about it like to be honest with you my original plan I really really wanted to do the cultural exchange program with Disney so you'd go out and work in Disney World for a year um which I applied for twice um, the first time I found out I didn't get it, I was actually on holiday, um, and I was thinking it was like the first day of my holiday, and I was like, this was back in August, it was like the first day of my holiday and I found out I didn't get it, and I was really upset and I was literally like, holding it together because I was on my family holiday and we just got there and I didn't obviously want to ruin it or anything, so I was just like, you know what, now's not my time, and then... I think it was last year my brother was kind of interested in doing Camp America um, but I hadn't really thought about it. I know family members that have done it and I know like family friends and people, other people that have done it before but to me like I wasn't, it wasn't something I ever thought about doing. Like it's not, this isn't something I've dreamed of doing my whole life. I mean don't get me wrong, living in America has been a dream my whole life. Like I love America. Um, so spending more than like a two week holiday out there is like, that's a dream come true. But Camp America itself, I never really thought I'd do it. I never really knew much about it either. Um, but I think it was like end of September, October time I applied for Camp America. I, I didn't even, I didn't research, I didn't do anything. I, you don't, I don't think you had to pay or anything straight away. I logged in online, I was like, you know what, like, there's no harm in just creating an application and then if I don't do anything, I don't do anything. Um, like if it doesn't go anywhere then it's not the end of the world. I was kind of still a bit gutted about the whole Disney thing and I was like, oh, I just want to see the world. Like I feel like if I don't go now, I don't know if I'll ever go. Like I, at the moment, the only thing that was holding me back was my job because I love my job wholeheartedly love my job and like to say goodbye to it and to say goodbye to the people as well that I work with is like I'm literally gonna break my heart they're like a little family but yeah so the only thing holding me back really was my job because I don't have anything else like I still live at home um I don't have like a relationship to worry about like I don't have these things to worry about and I was like you know what if I don't go now I'm never gonna go so I applied and then I actually ended up having an interview almost like, I think it was like within a week of applying and I was like, well, this is like moving really fast. But the interview was just a Zoom call with my like Camp America rep um, who has been amazing throughout this. So you get like your rep and you can choose people. Um, I think I just chose the most local person to me. 
Um, and you can do it in person, but I just did it over Zoom because I'm like so busy that I was like, you know, it'd be easier if I just stood over Zoom. Um, so I did it over Zoom, and it was, I think it's like half an hour. It's really chill, really laid back. Um, we just basically had a chat about my experience with working with children and like my experience, like what I want to get out of Camp America as well. Um, and it was just a really laid back chat, to be honest, just so. They can ask a few questions and get to know you and make sure that you're kind of like a real person, you know, um, apply in. And then also kind of for me to ask any questions as well. At this point, I still didn't really know much. In my brain, I was just like, yeah, it'll be fun things to do this summer if it happens. November rolls around and Camp America email about a fair. The majority of the camps that Camp America work with were coming to this fair. So we could go and meet these camps like in person so instead of like going and trying to reach out to the camps um, and being like hey like I want to work with you or whatever you could actually like in person uh, go to this fair and get hired so yeah you could go up to London um, I think they had did these all over the country I think they probably did one up north as well but I'm local to London and it actually happened to be on a day that I was seeing a show anyway so I was going to see Mary Poppins with my family in the evening so I went in the morning to the Camp America fair um, which was an experience so it kind of I had applied to be a specialist what my understanding was like you could be a specialist you didn't really need that like it was, if you were interested in doing it you could do it which I think some camps yes but like very limited I am going as a general counsellor because I don't really like I have a lot of background in like sports and stuff like that but I don't have background in teaching so if you've got like qualifications in a sport or an activity that your camp are putting on for the summer or you have like the teaching side of things as well like the coaching then you can probably go as a specialist but I had none of that I do sports like I've my whole childhood like I've been outside I was I did athletics ice skating dance um I did gymnastics at one point like I think I did cheerleading at one point any sport you name it I've probably tried it or did it for a little while I've been really lucky that the secondary school I went to especially they had like every sport you could possibly do and it was just like you could just go after school there wasn't like you didn't have to pay for any of it what i did before i went was go through all the camps that were going to be at the fair and then i um kind of ticked off the ones that i wanted to go to i went to all of them and they all said no and i was like i i didn't know what to do like my the people that i spoken to were like it's so easy you go and you literally get like hired straight away and i was seeing other kids get hired and i was just like why like what what am I doing wrong? Can I just say as well, like, these camps said no, but they were the kindest people ever. Like, no one was rude, no one made you feel uncomfortable, no one made you feel like you should be there. They were just like, you know what, we don't think you're right fit for this camp. And every single camp that said no, like, but you should try this camp. Like, they would give you somewhere else to go, they wouldn't just turn you away. They were so kind, and they'd, like, go, and they'd actually go with you to the next camp and be like, oh, Abby's interested in doing this, do you guys have the availability? And then they'd be like, right, we'll leave you with them, and whatever. So it was such a nice and kind and like happy place. No one made you feel like, you know, and also if you were kind of like, I don't know what to do. There was like tons of staff there from Camp America that could help you. Um, so yeah, I kind of aimlessly walked around like, I don't know what to do. Like no one's hiring me. And then I saw a camp that I recognized from the Camp America website and I was like, Oh, like that's a nice one yeah so I went over and I was actually chatting with one of the guys in the queue and he was really sweet and he actually got hired too so it's cool that I got to meet someone before I go um and yeah the guy was so kind it cracked me he was from Australia the guy that hired me was from Australia this was in November and he was wearing flip-flops and shorts and I was like I didn't say it but I was like are you not cold <laughs> um because I was in like a trench coat boots like I was freezing um november in london and he was in flip-flops i will always remember that <laughs> he was so kind he was like explaining everything to me and then he offered me as general counselor and i was like hell yeah count me in like i'm going but at this point i didn't know where the camp was uh i didn't really know much about it because i kind of all i'd done my research on the camps i wanted to go to i think i picked like 10 and they all said no um but i think looking back if i'd gone as a general counselor chances are they probably would have said yes but because i wanted i was trying to be a specialist i kind of was confused around like what you needed for the roles it was that part wasn't like super clear so that i would just like think about before you go is like 
do you have enough experience and qualifications to be the specialist or are you going to go as a general counsellor? There's a whole room full of the camps and all the people from the camps and then you go through, if you get in, short camp, like you get placed, you then go through to um, another room but you have to like, walk through like um, a little corridor and then there's like Camp America staff there and they're like oh my god like where are you going and I was like I'm not going to say where I'm going because obviously I'm going to go live there for seven weeks like afterwards I'll tell you where I went and I was like oh I'm going to so and so and then they were like oh that's such a nice camp and I was like okay like I don't know much about it but people are saying it's a nice place so that's good and then you sit down you have to fill out a few forms and um just to, like so the Camp America can log it on their system and stuff and then the guy that was with me was like oh that's like a great camp like good job and I was like oh okay and then I walked out and I was like where am I going? I don't even, like, I know I'm going to America, I didn't know what state I was going to, I was just like, okay, YOLO, <laughs> um, so yeah, then I got, um, I got out, and I met up with my family again, and I was literally googling, I was like, where am I going, and then, um, we went off, and we watched our show, and whatever, so that's how I got hired, I went to the Camp America Fair, you don't have to go, you can get hired online, I think, you can, so camps can come to you and they can view your application and come to you. I had, I think I had one or two come to me, but I was already placed by the time they came to me. Um, and then you can also, like, reach out to camps yourself. Then Camp America's website is so easy to use. Like, your little portal is, like, the easiest thing. So you have to get a medical form filled out by your doctor, which costs, I think it's, like, £40, mine was. Um, and it takes, like so long so if you get the sooner you get that in the better I think mine took like two months and they did it wrong anyway but that's more for like Camp America just I think you just have to send over like your vaccines and stuff to Camp America um but you have to like request all that information from your doctors and then like you have to pay for it for my camp we have to fill out like a separate form but we can do that one ourselves I did my medical form um and then I didn't really hear much for a while um and then I I think it was like February, I got my information through for my visa appointment, um, I think it was like end of Feb, early March, and then I had my visa appointment at the end of March. You have to go to the US Embassy, which is in London, it's right by Battersea Power Station, so mine was at half seven in the morning, and I live a good two hours away, so I was staying with family up in London, um, but it was still like a super early start, we got there at like, I think I got there at about quarter past seven, and the queue was already crazy, okay? So you queue outside, you everything's like basically outside. And the, the day I went, it was like absolutely chucking it down. Like absolutely chucking it down. How it works is there's one queue and that's queuing to kind of like, I don't know, like I guess check in for your appointment. Um, and then that's all outside and then you queue again in a second queue which is next to this one outside to actually get in the embassy. Once you're in the embassy, it's literally, I think I was in there like 20 minutes, um, but the queuing, I think I ended up queuing for a good half hour, 40 minutes, um, if not longer. Um, but that's the worst bit, and especially it's so early in the morning, I was, I was like, oh, and it's raining, um, so take your umbrellas on a rainy day because you're going to be outside for a while. And like, no one can go in with you either, I was by myself anyway, but um, you can't, I saw like some people had friends or family with them and they, unless they were under 18, they weren't allowed to go in with them. You go in, um, and you get through security and all of that. And the embassy is like, I don't know, it's kind of not what I was expecting. It's very American. I mean, it's very American. And I loved it. Like, obviously the staff there were all American. And I was like, oh, I just love it. I feel like I'm in America already. So you go in and then there's another queue. <laughs> and this is where they put a sticker um, on your passport. So you have to print off a lot of documents. And you have to have specific documents with you. Um, and it's really easy, don't worry. Like, they give you a full checklist before you go Camp America and the visa. Uh, and the embassy will send you and um, like checklists and then to be honest like they, I had to print off so much stuff that I didn't even need in the end like I had so many printouts that they didn't even look at but, but you go in to the front desk and then they make sure that you've got all of your um, bits of paperwork once they've checked over your paperwork you then go through and go up in the lift and then once you come out the lift um, it's like this big room full of chairs um, and then there is like a little coffee bar in the middle um, but it was like dead silent, it was really weird, like it was full of people but it was dead silent. Um, and then you go into these little booths, you get called up to your booth, you get a number and then that number gets called to the booth. And you go up and the people are so lovely, I was really nervous. Um, 
so yeah I was like uh, um but they're really kind they're really lovely and they're just there to like they just have a chat the first lady I spoke to she was definitely like more serious she wasn't chatty at all and I was like okay um but they just take your passport they give it like the once over and log it on their system whatever and then you go back out the booth and then you go over to a second booth um, this time the lady was really sweet and she was just like, oh my god, like you're going to have the best summer, is this your first time? Like, she was really chill, really chatty. She was just like, yeah, you're going to have a great summer, your visa's been accepted, like congrats, have a nice time kind of thing. And I was like, oh, thank you. Um, and then your passport either gets, they keep your passport um, because your visa goes inside it. Um, which is really weird now that I like have this like section of my passport that's all American. They keep your passport and then you can either go pick it up from a drop off point or you can um, get it delivered which is an extra cost so you have to pay for like, your embassy appointment and you have to pay for delivery but I went with pick up because I work in London anyway um, which ended up being the worst decision, worst decision of my life because we um, you get 30 days to pick it up and I went the first time and it was closed <laughs> the place to pick it up um, I think it's in Chancery Lane the pick up place and then um, I had to come all the way up to London and we weren't even supposed to be in London that day <laughs> and then basically I have to come all the way home um, so I would just get it posted back so that's the visa process you just have to make sure you have all your printouts basically not even a month later I have my passport back and I've told Camp America I'm ready to fly and now I'm just waiting for my flight details which is so exciting honestly it's been like a really easy process so far the thing that's taking up the most time is all the shopping I've been doing I've definitely overpacked <laughs> definitely overpacked I I'm very excited. That's kind of the process so far. And now with my camp that I've been placing, I don't know if this is the same for every camp, but for mine, we have an online portal. So we've had to fill out forms with our other camp. So we've had to fill out medical forms for them. Um, we've had to like sign waivers and agreements and all that stuff just for insurance purposes. So I am going as a general counsellor, but I had a very exciting email come through um, back in in end of February, early March. They noticed my interest in social media because obviously my job um, at the moment is social media. And I'll also, so I'll be going out as a general counselor, but now I'm also gonna be going out as one of their um, social media managers, which is so cool. Um, and I'm gonna be basically covering all their socials whilst I am at camp. Next week's video is all about things I'm taking with me um, and things that I have bought so far for camp. But thanks so much for tuning in. Life's about to get very, very exciting. Um, so yeah, I wonder what I'll be filming next. But buckle up because it's about to get exciting. <laughs>